Hey guys, hope you have a great day as well as a great life out here. It was a great life. Just got back from Chicago. Currently drinking Bush Light Peach because I bought it on a whim. Kind of bangs. Kind of bangs. Again, not sponsored. It's, it's but fucking good. This would be a good one. It's working, dude. Yeah. I'm going to actually move this out of the way. This old... We're clearly still the, college students at the heart. Degenerate yingling yeah. that remains. Ode to Billy Joel. Billy Joe. Billy Joe. It's pretty pretty close. I'm probably I, gonna call I, it Billy I Joel. I always want to say Joel every time like I've said it. Yeah. I have to like say it real slow. Somebody slower. should make an ode to Billy Joel. Gotta say it real slow. Well, and someone should also maybe we could do it. Probably make a probably make a decent ode. We probably could. I've never thought about making an ode or an etude, but I could probably make an etude with you or an ode yeah, to Billy, Billy Joel. Joel. I thought that'd be appropriate. You let us know. Either way, we've been wanting to hit this for a long time by Bobby Gentry. So let's go ahead and do so. It was the 3rd of June, another sleepy, dusty Delta day. I was out chopping cotton and my brother was baling hay. And at dinner time we stopped and walked back to the house to eat And mama hollered at the back door, y'all remember to wipe your feet And then she said, I got some news this morning from Choctaw Ridge Today Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge Papa said to Mama as he passed around the black-eyed peas Well, Billy Joe never had a lick of sense Pass the biscuits, please There's five more acres in the lower 40 I got to plow And Mama said it was a shame about Billy Joe anyhow Like nothing ever comes to no good up on Choctaw Ridge. And now Billy Joe McAllister's jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. And brother said he recollected when he and Tom and Billy Joe put a frog down my back at the Carroll County Picture Show. Wasn't I talking to him after church last Sunday night? I'll have another piece of apple pie. You know it don't seem right. I saw him at the sawmill yesterday on Choctaw Ridge. And now you tell me Billy Joe's jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Mama said to me, child, what's happened to your appetite? I've been cooking all morning and you haven't touched a single bite. That nice young preacher, Brother Taylor, dropped by today. Said he'd be pleased to have dinner on Sunday. Oh, by the way. He said he saw a girl that looked a lot like you up on Choctaw Ridge And she and Billy Joe was throwing something off the Tallahatchie Bridge A year has come and gone since we heard the news about Billy Joe Brother married Becky Thompson, they bought a store in Tupelo there was a virus going round, Papa caught it and he died last spring. And now Mama doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. And me, I spend a lot of time picking flowers up on Choctaw Ridge and drop them into the muddy water off the Tallahatchie Bridge. I love how it sounds like it's falling. 
Well, they gave me goosebumps in the very last 30 seconds. I got them in the beginning. Wait, once they said, like, jumped off the bridge the first time, I was like, yeah. poof, it came like a wave. So I didn't feel the most emotional at the end, but somehow the goosebumps, I think it was just delayed onset goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, a little, it's a new disease. Yeah, just coined it. Incredible song. I... I love, it almost felt like, an, like this is maybe one of the most artistic songs we've heard in a while. Because mm. it's playing on so many fronts. Like, it is storytelling, right? But it's also, I love the juxtaposition of such a serious, like, this kid jumped off of a bridge. Mm. Mixed with, yeah, can you pass the Black Eyed Peas? Right? Like, pass the Biscuits. Pass the Biscuits. Those two things in conjunction are, it's so cool to hear. Because it, it, it's, it's. There's, it's macabre. There's, it makes you uncomfortable. Also, because a lot of people do react that way to things. Yes. Like, like a, a Papa would definitely, like, yeah. I could definitely see that. Like, the first second, they're like, oh, that's terrible. Uh, d- darling, can you grab me the silverware over there? It's like, that is how family dynamic works. So that's the third thing, is it feels realistic. No, he was like, kid ain't had no sense. Also pass the biscuits. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <sighs> that's super realistic. Yes. I could easily, yeah. That sounds like an actual conversation in song form, mm-hmm. which is hard to do. And the only thing is in the second verse, I was like, oh, man. I I literally was like, I hope there is a twist ending because if there's three verses of this, I think I'll get tired of it by the end. Mm-hmm. And the fact that there was, I was like, damn, dog. Round of applause. So cool. So cool. No, this is a great song. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, super just authentic. Yeah. What, what year did this come out? Let me see here. Because instrumentation. Early, early 70s. Uh, ooh, 67. I was hoping 60s because this felt, I was hoping it felt authentically 60s and not like, Somebody was trying to pretend to be from the 60s. Mm. You know what I'm Dang, saying? Dang, 67. That's cool. It's pretty it's really, early. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, great. The instrumentation was cool. I loved the kind of jangly, just the guitar and like this weird string stuff in the background. Yeah, just adding the emotion. And the yeah, acoustics, the only, ri- like, there's not really any extra rhythm besides yeah. that. Oh, there's the bass. Like mm. the upright yeah, bass. Yeah, there was definitely bass. Um, Damn, what a pretty voice, too. Yeah, so soulful, not trying too hard. It... It really complements that like spoken word story. It's not spoken word, but storytelling sort of like dialogue song that her, it just it almost made it made me forget for a second that I was listening to a song and not like watching a show or a mm. movie. Also, just the way she like captured the emotion of like like the complex stuff she was probably feeling at that time. Where it's like, dang, I was, great ju- I was just plowing. I was just doing this. Me and my brother were doing the stuff, getting dinner. Like it's just like table talk for a little bit. But it's like, dang, I feel funny inside. And it's like, yeah, you know, just great great story even when the when the mom is like hey the preacher stopped by he said that he saw somebody that looked a lot like you with the boy on the bridge mm. it's like i don't know like oh okay just thought i mentioned it like i don't know everything could, was conveyed so honestly and i think it's really it literally felt like she was acting to some degree mm. which i thought was great hopefully this is not a real story hopefully there's not a really ability. i hope it is a real story hope like sucks for him jumping off the bridge <laughs> but like okay yeah i think more I think it's a more cool story of a song if it actually It is happened. a more cool story of a song. And also, it's like, cool she wrote an ode at that point for the dude. That is true. You really don't write an ode to somebody unless they're dead or they left you. It's not the worst thing. Lots of people jump off and don't get odes written about them. So it's like... It's true. If it actually happened, you know... In fact, if it didn't happen, it's kind of rude to those who did jump. Just kidding. Because, like, technically, it's still about the concept. You're going to dig know. yourself into a mental hole. I'm going to say... I think... <laughs> I hope it's all real. I hope it's all real. We are on the diff- different pages. I like when kids survive. We have I a rating to do. I also do. We have a rating to do. Uh, three, two, one. A plus. A plus. But 100%. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love you so much. Uh, yeah. Great song. I guess let us know what your thoughts are. It was killer. It was killer. I'd like to hear more like this. Let's show us some more odes. What's the second best ode besides this one? Mm. Or maybe there's an ode that's better. I don't know. Let us know what some more odes are. Yeah, we're pretty new to the ode game. Pretty new to the ode game. Need some more ode. Like Grew up in know. a pretty suburban neighborhood. Need some more ode education before we can do yeah. Billy Joel. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let us know. Peace. We'll see you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, go and upvote the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff. You can't get on YouTube because people walk in here.